Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, I decided that I'm going to bring back my Minimalist Monday series. So when I first started this channel over a year and a half ago, I had a, a series called Minimalist Monday and every few Mondays I would put out a video where I either answered a minimalism question or I came up with a tip that helped us to declutter and become more minimal. What I heard is that you should take all of your clothes and flip the hangers around and uh, I really enjoyed making those videos and you guys all seem to really love them and then I just kind of forgot uh, to <laughs> make those videos so I thought I would bring that series back and today I want to start with a question that I got from one of my subscribers and viewers and it's such a great question. This question is from Claire B. Hi, if you started the whole process again, what would you do differently? What are your top tips for minimalist living? Thanks. Thank you, Claire, for this question. It is such a great question because I would do some stuff differently. I guess when you first start, you kind of have this um, real energy about decluttering because you can see the changes in your home really quickly and you can see how clean everything's looking and the amount of space that you're gaining. Uh, if you're starting this journey, I encourage you to stick with it. And I did a really slow declutter, so I would go into a certain section of my home. This was before I ever read a KonMari book or Marie Kondo stuff. I just jumped right in and started decluttering. As time went on, I started to read more about different theories and different ways to declutter. And then that came into my um, decluttering process. And I was so excited to start decluttering. I started in my kitchen and I just started opening cupboards and taking out anything that I felt we never used. And I was really surprised that we had quite a lot of things that were really easy to declutter. That was simple, I could just go in and get rid of any duplicate items, so that kind of happened quickly. If I were to do this process all over again, I would definitely declutter differently. Now that I know I have never regretted not one thing I've ever decluttered, it's now easier to get rid of things and to know I'm happy living with less. But when I started, I was really unsure. I didn't want to get rid of too many things. I didn't want to regret getting rid of things. So I did everything really slow. Well, if I were to do it again, I would probably do it the way the minimalists say. He packed everything in his house up and then took out just what he needed. After a while, he realized he wasn't taking anything else out of the boxes and he simply just donated everything else. And I think that would be the quickest way to become minimal. Now that I've read the KonMari books and watched her whole series, Marie Kondo, KonMari, um, I can see why she says to do it her way because again, you're only keeping what you want and you're getting rid of the rest. The way I decluttered was I pulled out the things I didn't think I needed and got rid of. So I think you are able to get rid of more quicker if you do it the opposite way. That's kind of how I would do it now if I went back and started from square one. The other thing I would do differently is I would start documenting this process from day one. I didn't start documenting my whole decluttering process till probably about three months in. I look back and think, wow, I wish I had gone through my house and taken footage, video footage and photographs of every single room in my house, everything I had, because then I would really be able to see the difference. Um, but even three months in, I have a whole decluttering for a year video. Maybe you've seen it, I'll link it above, but that uh, shows you my house through the year and how much things have changed. What are your top tips for minimalist living? We do not shop very often. I like to keep a list of the things that I am thinking of buying. And sometimes what's really interesting is I'll look back at my list and think, I forgot I even put these certain things on the list that I wanted in that moment. Biggest tip I have for keeping our family minimal is every single item that comes into our house, I donate something. And I try to make the items very similar. So I know someone had asked me before, oh, if you have a shirt come in, do you get rid of a paper clip? No, I try to do an equal item. So if a lamp comes in, another lamp goes out, 
or if, if I get a new shirt, I try to find an old shirt that I maybe don't wear anymore and get rid of that. And that does two things. That actually keeps our house where it's at. And the other thing that does is it makes me really think about what is coming into our house because let's just say that I get a new shirt, but now I have to get rid of a shirt that I decided to keep that I really love. So that also makes me think about what I'm buying. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell to see more of our videos. And I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.